Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel of mprocks.com. Hope you and your family are doing well. My name is Mike. I'm the moderator in a series of videos that is all about handmade carpets from around the world. In today's video, I want to introduce you to two types of rugs. I have a very large rug. This is a genuine Sarap. It's uh, for those of you that are into Persian rugs, the name Sarap is synonymous with some of the strongest, most durable, rarest types of high end Tabriz rugs, Persian rugs. These are rugs that are made in the Azerbaijan area. Well, they used to be made. And they were also what many people considered to be the inspiration behind the Mahi design. So in today's video, I thought I'm going to introduce you to an actual older Sarab and also introduce you to what has become basically the newest design variation in the Mahi design. We have a beautiful rare example of what is now becoming um, kind of popular and it blends in some of the classic combinations of classic designs of Persian rugs. And in this particular piece right here, we have, it's such a unique design. It is such a rare find that I thought I'm gonna feature this. This is a new design. I am standing on a very old design. So basically what I'm gonna do as I always do now, I'm gonna get behind the camera and show you some of the features. Uh, before I do, I just wanted to let you know if you are into Persian rugs or just carpets in general. Um, I also make ourselves available as part of our YouTube channel. I just, uh, I have a lot of folks who have questions about rugs that they may own or that they're interested in buying. Um, if you have a question about a rug that you may have, feel free to look at the video below. It's in the description um, in which I show you what size pictures I need and what type of pictures I need. And I can give you a quick answer. Also, this channel is all about basically fun. It's all about handmade carpets. And so, for example, I have many videos about the Mahi design um, in addition to this piece right here. And we also have many different types of videos that tell you the differences and qualities and everything. So if this is something that you enjoy, please feel free to subscribe, check out the other videos. Just wanted to get that out of the way. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna um, get behind the camera and show you some of the features of these two beautiful pieces. And then I'm going to come back to you and say my final goodbye. So I'm going to see you again here in just a second. So here to do the close-ups of the videos, I'm just in to introduce you the two beautiful rugs right here. I'm just going to walk around this huge, massive Sarap. Um, this one has a signature. Remember, this is the granddaddy of them all. A lot of people credit the Sarap rugs with basically introducing the Mahi design, a lot of people the Hirati design, but a lot of people literally pay homage to the small Azerbaijani village town. Here we have the signature of Sarap Mashairi. Um, this is a beautiful, this is an older piece. Um, it's about 40, 50 years old. But what sets these syrups aside, and like I said, I just wanted to feature this. This is especially for those of you that are passionate about the Persian rugs and know about these. A lot of folks uh, consider them to be the inspiration behind the Mahi rugs. But the syrups are basically, um, think of a child between a high-end, super fine bee jar and the Tabriz. Um, this little town, the, uh, the quality, the substance, these rugs are just so indestructible. They are so solid. They have the tightness, the quality, 
of the Tabriz rugs, but they have the strength and the durability. I just, everything, it, um, this is just a massive rug. They have all of that of the bee jars. So I always tell people, it's to me, it, the best way to describe them, you have the high end, the, you have the very good qualities, the solid pieces like the mahi, the Tabriz rugs, and you have the bee jars. And if the bee jar and the Tabriz were to have a child together, this right here would be what a perfect uh, child would look like. And you have the Harati design that a lot of people credit with being the precursor, the granddaddy of the Mahi design. And you can see, um, and I'm going to show you when I feature this, but you can see a little bit of the, here we go, you got the, the Mahi design, it literally got, takes its inspiration from the Harati design, and you can also see that in the little details and everything. But the Sarab are such a rare type of Persian rug, really no longer being made. This was something in the little town, Azerbaijan, um, as I showed you on the map earlier, northwestern Iran. The uh, government basically back in the 50s and 60s, they were really, they were, they were almost subsidizing the rug weaving culture. And so that is how they became known for this particular type of Harati design. And then, but it kind of went away after the revolution. And so for about 20, 30 years, the Sarap Mahi rugs have become really, it's almost now they're more collectibles, but they were, they were made in such a high quality, the workmanship, the durability, that they literally have surpassed all the decades of usage and everything. And you still will find a few rare pieces like this one that's basically, it's like a brand new piece, even though it's about, like I said, this one I'm guesstimating it today to about the 1970s, early 70s. And it's really, really just a perfect example of what the older pieces look like with the signatures. And then on the other end of it, you have this absolutely, what well, I think it's just an amazing, beautiful uh, Mahi rug. This is the new design that also has a few unique features that I thought I'm just gonna point them out to you. It's almost as if somebody took a Tabriz, the Mahi rug, and they put the Mahi rug in a frame. If you look at it up here at the top there, it looks almost as if the Mahi rug has literally been framed. And it's just absolutely beautiful the way that they did it. You have the Mahi rug, this is very classic. Then they came up with the unique design features that you see here and you have the silk highlights that are commonly featured in these types of high quality mahi rugs. But like I said, well, I just absolutely loved it when I looked at the borders of it. It's as if the rug is literally framed onto, it's almost like a pictorial piece. Uh, let me see here, as we have a few, uh, my uncle always has a prayer pictorial Tabriz rug. I'm just going to swing the camera around. There is our pictorial piece that is hanging on the, it's above the door, basically welcoming everyone who comes in and wishes them well. And the same here, but you have, instead of a frame, you just have this beautiful framed design, beautiful Kalim. This is what the new Mahi design looks like. I showed it to you earlier and um, just wanted to um, showcase this to you again. Um, for those of you that are into the Persian rugs, uh, especially the Mahi rugs, as you can see here, there are lots of classic designs, but um, and they have been around for decades. But every once in a while, you will get unique designs like these. 
and you can see them um, just a perfectly symmetric, the round medallion. But then you have what used to be, this is what is a common medallion looks like in a mahi rug. So they put it on the outskirts and then you have this field right here. Um, just the way the whole design works, this to me is just absolutely, it's both elegant and this is also extremely durable. And this was perfect. I mean, I can tell you I've had a mahi rug just like this, same size, in my own dining room. And it lasted there for, for about 15 years. And this is the type of rug that is designed to be both luxurious as well as durable, very elegant, will last you a lifetime. You can put it on the furniture and everything. But like I said, um, when I saw this design, this is a new design that has become um, more and more popular, but they're still very hard to find. And in this particular piece right here, when we saw the quality of it and we saw the level of workmanship, the detailing, I just couldn't help it. This was a rug that we had to have and we had to feature. So um, I hope you enjoyed the close-up of the latest in Mahi design, which a lot of people say is credited to the old school, the granddaddy of them all. So here we are. I'm going to come back to you now and give you guys my final goodbyes. So there, I hope you enjoyed the video about the introduction to the granddaddy or the inspiration behind the Mahi rugs and, well, what I call the old school the Sarap, as well as the most recent idea in the Tabris Mahi design. Um, absolutely beautiful piece. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and all the other information that we provide to you in our channel. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section or email us. And um, like I said, there is a link also below to all the additional videos and everything else that we have. Like I said, the Mahi design is one that has always been very popular. So until we see each other again, I wish you and your family the very best. Take care. And we'll see you again with a new video soon. Bye-bye.